Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Kennedy, Strong Style, Nerd, Strong Style, Cinephile. We got a few photos from the upcoming season premiere of Arrow dropping October 15th. It's getting closer, it's getting closer. So let us geek about that for a few minutes. And speaking of photos, we got a photo from TV Line. I don't know if they're the exclusive ones that um, had it, but it's the first one that I saw where we got the flash with his chin strap back. It's just like, ah, oh, I'm thanking every deity out there, known to man that he has the chin strap back. I don't know why they didn't have it on the costume last season. It's such a simple detail, but it just fixes so much. You just have that back. Just, uh, just, but that's a whole nother video. Right now we're talking about Arrow and the pictures they put forth from the first episode of, of that show. Starling City is the episode name and kind of makes you wonder if they're going back in time, if there's some time travel shenanigans, or are we going to an alternate Earth? Some people connected to the show have said, hey, we're gonna visit some familiar places and characters and people and that sort of thing, so maybe this is one of those things. But the thing that stuck out to me with the photos that I found the most interesting is not just for Tommy being back, Tommy Merlin and his actor and his righteous beard that I wish I could grow, but I can't, but whatever. You've got Moira Thompson, um, or Susanna Thompson, sorry. We've got Susanna Thompson coming back as Moira Queen. Um, but the thing that struck me, stuck out to me, was Dinah, the picture they had of Dinah, and she's sitting there with a, a photo, or a, a sketch, that if you look closely at the sketch, it's not facing the camera, it's facing away, but you can kind of see through the pages. Um, and you can see it's a sketch of the hood from the first season, so I'm wondering if this is not just an alternate Earth because it's Starling City. It was Starling, for it to be Starling City, it's either time travel or an alternate Earth. So I'm assuming alternate Earth because it makes me feel that in this, on this Earth, Dinah is going to be taking the role of Lance and being that anti, anti-vigilante cop, you know, just bent on bringing in the hood, wherever the hood is on this earth. Although we did see in the trailer, I think uh, we saw something that kind of gave us an idea that maybe Adrian Chase on an alternate earth is the arrow. Uh, will it be this earth or will it be this earth that Tommy maybe is the arrow? Um, people, again, connected to the show said that we are going to get, the fans are going to get something that they really want with Tommy, that, that that they've been waiting on. One of the things the fans have been waiting on is for Tommy to wield the bow and arrow. Now, whether that's as the arrow or whether that's as the dark archer remains to be seen. It's one of those things where it's just like, you're just ready for the premiere to come. So you can kind of see how all these things are gonna play out, all these theories and everything that we have are gonna play out. Again, we don't know the full extent of the powers of the monitor. If he has just earth hopping powers or if it's, he has time travel powers or just what his power base is, we don't know. Um, some things he did last, you know, in the crossover were just kind of like plot induced, you know, powers. We'll see what he has in the upcoming season. Another thing we saw was a shot of Black Canary or Black Siren, who I guess is now going by Black Canary, Oliver and Diggle, Oliver in his new suit, Black Canary's new suit, um, and kind of people speculating, is this new team arrow? Um, but again, Oliver's kind of going, hopping around what we kind of think He's marshalling troops, uh, a force of his own to have for the crisis when it happens. Did something happen where, uh, you know, he either had to go back um, to pick them up for backup, or um, is this, again, alternate Earth? Maybe that's why she has the costume that she has. And he jumped on there to, to help or whatever. Another thing, and I'll put the images side by side because I don't know, if, maybe I'm just thinking this wrong because I don't remember that much about Smallville and Black Canary Smallville just because I blocked so much Smallville out of my mind because I hate that show. Uh, but her new, the new Black Canary suit kind of put me in a vibe of the Smallville Black Canary. And again, maybe I'm misremembering it. I'll put them side by side and we'll see. I could be totally off base, but it's way better than the, you know, bondage reject gear that Laurel had in her first instance as the Black Canary, second Black Canary, although Sarah Lance is still the one true Black Canary for me. But, you know, Laurel had her suit. Um, she had, uh, the Black Siren had that getup that she had. This new Black Canary look is just, hundred times better than both of those. Anxious to see it in action. And of course, other people that we know are returning. We've got Byron Mann, the man himself, as Yalpe coming back for the final season. I love everything about Byron Mann and lots of the stuff he's been in, so I'm excited to see him back. We already know the actress playing Katana is coming back, because we know we're going to Hong Kong again. And we also know that Colton Haynes, sadly, is not coming back. He's been not been asked to come back as a serious regular. He said he would do it. He said that they just never asked him. Um, is that true? Is that the case? Who knows? Um, could it have something, anything to do with his exit the first time around, or maybe anything that happened the second go around when he came back? Who knows? But he's just not going to be a series regular. Of course, he, that's not saying he could pop up for like one episode or something. He's just not going to be a series regular, which kind of sucks. Given that they're having some other people come back, I'm, I'm still hoping and crossing like every finger that I've got 
that we can get some Jessica Degau as a huntress. I haven't seen any reports about that. I'm not all that optimistic, but still, I'd like it. Even if it's just a um, like a shot on an alternate uh, Earth or something like that, um, a shot of her or a shot of like a stunt uh, person in her getup, I prefer the real deal. But if it's a stunt person from far enough away that you can't tell it's not her, and we just get some Huntress action, or not, uh, yeah, some Huntress, you know, doing something, that would make me happy. I would really like Degau not holding out much hope that that's what happens. If you look at some of the uh, episode titles that have uh, been shown, we know that David Ramsey's going to direct an upcoming episode, which is cool. I think he did one last season, too. What I really want to know is if we're finally going to get the payoff of Diggle as the alternate Earth Green Lantern. I mean, we've seen um, hints and stuff dropped um, throughout the series. We even had Barry Allen, you know, ask John, hey, where is your ring? Um, so we know that on his Earth, John was, you know, the Green Lantern. It's the payoff that everybody is wanting. What I'm hoping, we don't need just some long extended thing that's going to cost a crap load of money and, you know, TV special effects budget and stuff like that. Just what I'm thinking is just a good, cool, like eight seconds, which again, could be super expensive. I don't know these things, but a cool, like six to eight seconds where you can see him long enough to know him, identify him and just see him, you know, do something cool with his ring and then be done with it. Just a quick montage type of shot or just a part of like a larger battle um, in the crisis. I would be happy. Will that happen? Who knows? We know the actor wants to do it, but we also know he knows how much money would have to go into portraying, you know, doing a proper Green Lantern series. So probably will never happen, but we can dream, can't we? Just, I'm waiting, I'm ready to kind of see how everything finally plays out, to kind of see where things gel with our lots, you know, loads of fan theories and that sort of thing that we've been kicking around for months on message boards and social media and that sort of thing. I'm just anxious to finally see how it plays out in this final run of episodes leading into the crisis. And just, again, the crisis can be used to fix the Arrowverse. I'm really hoping that they do. I'm hoping that they have a decent exit for um, Oliver Queen on Arrow because um, it's a show that started it all. So I'm really hoping that it's done well, it's written well, it's executed well and deserving of what the show has brought for this um, CW, uh, for the fans, and just the idea of TV comic book superheroes. It's done a ton, and it should be um, honored as such, I think. But those are some of my thoughts on Arrow, some of the photos from the premiere. What do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. That's below. Talk to me there. Talk to me here on this channel. Got a couple more videos I need to get done. Got to redo my Titans one. Um, and of course, got a couple of events coming up this tomorrow, Friday the 13th, Denton at the Civic Center, benefiting the Cullen School. It's the XCW Family Reunion show. I'm on it. I'm working. Come see me go places, kick faces. And Saturday, Bedford, Texas, MPX, Die Hard. It's myself. Again, I'm working, going places, kicking faces against Stephen Kirby for the MPX Addicts Championship. If you're in the area for Denton or for Bedford on Saturday, come check me out. See me doing what I do. In the meantime, let us keep.